All right, hello everybody and welcome. I am Cassis Plays, and today we are checking out this game called Police Shootout. Uh, it's a new kind of simulator style game that released on uh, the Steam store. It is the prologue version, so typically they release like a two to three level demo uh, sometimes for their simulators, and that's pretty much what this is. Um, it's been getting pretty good reviews, so I wanted to give it a try today and see how it goes. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and launch into the game and see how this turns out to be. Talk to the instructor from room A1. Welcome to training A1. Our goal will be to teach you techniques to deal with your opponent. Here we will deal with direct confrontation. Tactics, not to just protecting your own ass and attack. I'll show you everything in the simulation. In room B1, you have some targets on which you can practice your aim. There's exercises of a completely different specialty in room C1. I recommend you take a look there. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> my mouse is going over to my other screen, so hold on for one second. Let me uh, get this figured out. All right, and we are good now. Anyways, so yeah, my mouse is going over to the other screen. Uh, I closed that out, and now we should be good here. Looks like. Yep. All right, so take uh, talk to the instructor in room C1. That what? Uh, that's C1. That the tutorial in room C. Welcome to my humble abode. We don't often get visits. Sergeant Gary. You can learn some very useful things here before you head out on the town. You can solve many situations without using a gun. Just do a little research and you might come across something like this. But let's start at the beginning. At this stage of the tutorial, we will talk about your equipment. Hold down inventory to access it. Uh, okay. Tell me about the equipment. Tell me a, something has about a the guns. This range and a larger capacity magazine. It's relatively easy to use. <coughs> it still requires focused shotgun. Then there's it can be used to accomplish this. You must sneak up on your opponent. Great. The equipment you will find everything a real policeman needs uh, in order to do his job. Find the inventory wheel. Hold down Q. Okay. Hands, flashlight, baton. Handcuffs, radio, and notebook. Okay. So pretty much everything will be in here that we need. Uh I guess hey. everything is whoa. What are you doing here? This is not the place to hang out for you. Get out. My bad. Jeez, okay. So I guess we can get detected by other friendlies? <laughs> uh during the shooting? Your accuracy isn't the only important thing. To avoid this tutorial, as you go, shall we get started? Let's get started. Start the fight. A player's turn has limited duration. Whoa. Wait, what? Available time is shown in the yellow bar at the top of the screen. Yellow bar? That's, that's, that's blue. Okay. Each action requires the use of a certain number of action points. The number of points are shown in the indicator below the time bar. You run out of action points, just end the turn. The next turn you'll receive new ones. Blue available, red. Whoa, what? When fighting with, uh, fighting you observe the shields placed around you. They mark the locations of the shields. Huh. Blue shield, we can go there. Orange, not enough action points. Red shield, dangerous place, too close to the enemy. Black shield, too far away to get to the point. Whoa. So it's like a turn-based style. I was not expecting this. Effectiveness of shields. Good average. Okay, you can kind of see. Um, to hide, press E. So end your turn. I guess you have to go like this. Ah, okay. There's different weakness sides. If your visibility is obstructed. You can use AD to lean out behind an obstacle. 
Watch out, opponents can shoot accurately too. If they hit you, you will lose a few health points before the fight. Pay attention to how many life points you have. There's always a first kit, uh, first aid kit available in the police car. Aim a weapon, uh, left click, then perfect shock to aim that. Left click to indicate our yellow. Wait, yellow target hit, gray target miss. To aim a weapon at an opponent, click left mouse, okay? To get the perfect shot, aim the weapon at your opponent and then click when the indicator is blue, oh, in the blue zone. Head instant, okay, disarm uh, and legs immobilize. Insufficient action points, so let me crouch them. Whoa. Missed. Oh God. Are you serious? Hit. Okay, there's a little bit of scuffiness to this, but hey, I, f I feel like that's kind of like part of the charm for these uh, simulator style games. Well done, you did it. Do you want to try again? Nah, I'm, I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm good. Talk to the instructor in C1. I thought I already talked to him. In your inventory, you will also find handcuffs. You can use them to hand You can then try to talk to him and try- Not every- Did you understand everything? Sure. There are situations where an opponent can not only be- Now I'll give you some suggestions. Sometimes turning the light or alarm off or on can get someone's attention. It can be other things too, but these examples are the most obvious. That's why it's a good idea to look around and surprise your opponent. Did you understand everything? I'm going to ask you now to watch the movement of this dude inside of the room. Then activate the alarm with the switch on the wall and see what happens. Come back to me for further instruction. Okay, the distraction. That's why he's moving left and right. All right, so let's activate the alarm. Now we're going to test your skills. Sneak up on our colleague and give him a little tap on the head with your nightstick. Did you understand everything? Show me what you Stun an enemy. Okay, so we have to pull out our nightstick. Hey, what are you doing? Get out. Whoops. <laughs> okay, turn around, dude. Hold E to stun. Great. Suspect neutralized. Remember to handcuff your opponent after. Did you understand everything? Yes. How many times? I guess. I would. I kind of wish it would just show you, um. The the quick tip like it does right there in the left hand side, like after before he explains it. Like he doesn't need to explain everything. He they could probably just well show done. the quick tip. It's. It could be. Did you understand everything? Like this. Like it after you complete that handcuffing him, now it can come up and just show this right away. Instead of, did you understand everything? I if you ask like I feel like this could be optional. But that's just what I'm thinking. I remember to collect all the evidence available. Cause I, I just feel like it would be a smoother run. Item secured. But I guess it's kind of nice that they have both. Secure all the evidence. Oh, need to grab these two. Well done. That's it from me. If there's anything else you want to ask, see you later. Exit tutorial. Exit tutorial. Go to the door marked uh, with the green light. Okay. That's fairly easy and quick. Uh, you know, ten minute tutorial. Nothing too crazy. Next training. Uh oh. Wait. A new assignment. Finish your first negotiation. Time to teach you what negotiation looks like. The rules are simple. You're in the operation. You can circle. Did you understand? Roger that. Well, me, I'm, uh, All right, show me the quick I tips on the left. I'll read those. Up, you already know a little bit. So what do you say? Good. Let's get started. Card preview. You can preview the card at each. That's great. So it's literally a turn based for combat and then a card system for 
negotiations. That's that's interesting. Negative ending. Uh, in case of unsuccessful conversation with your opponent, they conclude the negotiation card will be in red. Start using it. Using it will start a fight. Positive ending. If you had a good talk with your opponent, conclude the negotiations card will be blue. Wow, this is uh, this is interesting the way you do this. Uh, the dealer street thug. Missing information. Missing information. Let's try with this one. This one doesn't have any information. Drop the card. Been arrested several times for possession of. Are you really going to argue with that? You know that you have enough lock to I lock you up. Doesn't mean I took it. You should have listened to my friend instead of my stupid girlfriend. She said I don't use it, right? Besides, you saw my hands. You saw the test results. I'm clean. Your argument in this situation was ill-chosen. You'll only lose the suspect trust. Hmm. Okay, then this. We stopped you at a lot of heroin. Did you try? It depends on what I have a special deal for. Alright, well, choose. Perfectly chosen argument. A lot of trouble and a lot of times, uh, a lot of, tr a lot of, wait, you've been in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble a few times. <laughs> right away. Robbery, big deal. I broke a window or set fire to a dumpster. Everybody does it. Get off my ass. You'd ask my neighbor what a good neighbor I am. I only threatened her with a baseball bat once because the idiot kept their dog on a chain. Something or someone. I won't talk about others, but I might know something about some job. You know that supermarket in town? Well, choose an argument. Reliable information. This is how you can convince your interlocutor. Okay. No, come on, this is pointless. You don't know what you're talking about. Go out, take three breaths, and try again. What? You ready? Okay, so I'm kind of confused what just happened there. Because it didn't give me any other information. Uh, let's, let's just try it again. Um, so he said this one was good. How do you... It the... Well... Perfectly chosen street thug. Right away. Well, okay. Uh, it's because I did this one that I couldn't conclude it. All right, all right. I see you know what this is about. You talk me through it. You can get on with the real work. Unless you want a really tough negotiation, you're welcome to it when you have some free time. New assignment. Exit the tutorial. Okay. So that's going to take a little bit getting used to um, for that part, but all right. So it looks like that's all the training. I, I'm glad I kind of went through that. Are you the new guy? The chief says you're stubborn as a mule. Wait, Whoa. What's your name? Price, right? Scott, Scott Price? Price? Whatever. I'm Captain David Summers. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like he's the tough guy. To us yourself. What is it? What are you looking for here? What, you're not going to say? Okay, not really my business. There's a report, a fender bender or something. Check the system, get to work. I'm out of here. Bye. New missions. Welcome to the mission map. You can choose your mission here. A new mission is marked with this symbol. You can also repeat missions once they're done. Begin the parking lot brawl. Sure. Okay, let's see how uh, the actual mission works out. Should be interesting. I mean, it is a cool concept of a game. I do feel like we need more, uh, like, police-style games. Police car equipment. In the police car, you will find a computer, uh, police computer, a first aid kit. Computer gives you information that you need to know to report you responded to. Okay. 
E to get out, E to use a computer. All right, let's see what we got. Priority parking collision outside a supermarket, San Andrino. Uh, a collision was reported in the parking lot outside of this local supermarket. Two people. Okay. That didn't, uh, okay. Let's go find out what's going on. New radio report. Uh, okay. Report your arrival. Dispatch, show me 1023. Information has been reporting to your headquarters. Good morning, sir. I'm the one who reported our little accident. Uh, it doesn't look like morning, but okay. What actually happened? Out of the parking lot, and this gentleman drove into me. He backed up and slammed right into my car. The other thing is, I feel like this uh could be down here. I don't know why it's in the center of the screen, but whatever. Uh, well, I guess technically this, but still, uh, maybe. Oh no, come on! It's just a fender bender, basically a scratch. But the guy won't admit it's his fault. That's why I had to call. Yeah, all right, then get your papers ready when I'll, while I talk to the other gentlemen. Wait, so which car is his? I don't know. To this, it looks like he was backing out. And then this guy came through. Good evening. You've heard enough, haven't you? That I'm responsible for this mess? <sighs> what a guy. Take it easy. Tell me what happened. This man is more fortunate than smart and should never have passed his driving test. It's good that it was late and there weren't many cars in the parking lot, so I barely hit him. But you know, wait, they just said good morning. Anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. You know, I have to report it anyways. Fill out the paperwork, so I get your paperwork ready, and we'll talk soon. Sure, you got it. New assignment. Oh God, what is gonna happen? Report gunshots. Base send back up. There's several shots at the local supermarket. I'm going in to assess the situation. Copy that. Back up on the way. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Notebook. Uh, gunshots. Should I? I guess I should probably take out my gun. Oh, boy. Where'd that come from? Hey, Psst. sir, what happened? Shh. Please don't speak out loud. They're still here. Hey, the attacker is the one who shot. They're going around for someone else to shoot. How many did you see? Me, but they were shouting to someone else. Their boss is a psycho. He didn't even blink when he shot the guy who tried to stop him. He just punched a hole right through him. So much blood. Anything else? The longer we talk, the more likely they are to find us. Ah, uh, you can't up, stay here. Aren't they gonna shoot at me like I was some sort of duck? Uh, please wait. I'll come back to you when it's safe. <laughs> New assignment. I can always ask him. As long as he's still alive. A cop? You think the Detroit bosses are afraid of dogs? Oh God, Jerry! Drop the gun and get down. Cops die. No. Uh. Move here. Actually. Good hit. Missed. Oh, not not good. Not good. Missed. Clues obtained. Find the other people in the store. Get them out when it's safe. So that's one guy. There's at least two more. Or I mean one more. <gasps> there he is. Dog house? Quickly. I'm going to count to three. And then I'm going to... Put the gun down. Don't do anything stupid. Ah. Did we get in cover? Uh, can I not move there? Here we go. Crouch. Oh, 
Fight's over. Oh, uh, you know what? I didn't report any of this. Dead civilian. Suspect was killed. Second suspect killed. Mafia. Guy was yelling something about Detroit mob. Can you check him out for me? Sure, I'm checking these chats. By the way, no solid information, just rumors. Pick up. Who was obtained from the other dead civilian? The police? Jesus, finally. Help me. He's not breathing. Ambulance will be here any minute. Ambul uh, I keep firm pressure on the wound. It'll slow down the bleeding. Is this someone close to you? What? No, he's just a customer. He comes here a lot, and today... Shit. Do you yes, work here? I fix what's broken, and if it works, I make sure it keeps working. I went out to check one of the refrigerators, and it started. You don't even know. It's a living hell. They shot, I know, but just like that, they came in and started a fuss. No, no. I saw this guy talking on the phone. He looked like he was going to shit his pants. You know, scared. And then when he finished talking, he pulled out a gun and started shooting. I can smell a rat from a mile away. You don't remember anything? No, I don't know enemies. I don't know enemies. The owner of some, the owner or someone on the crew didn't have a beef with anyone. I don't know. Come on. All I know is there are a bunch of amateurs for sure. <laughs> they were the dialogue options. Like a bunch of kids. One of them kept asking for money, and the boss told him to shut up. What? What do you mean? Do you want me to stay here? Uh, you need to go now. I'll straight, just straight out the exit. No extra stops. I'll come back for you when it's safe. Just pulls the gun out right in front of him. Okay. Uh, actually, it looks like we have radio. Or another dead civilian. There's an accident on the main road to your place. The rock loads, roads blocked. Oh my god, he can't speak. Info has been reported to headquarters. Oh yeah, I probably should have took his gun first. Item secured. So which guy was on the phone? That's the question. This guy still over here? He is. What's the situation? Is it safe yet? You can go, it's safe. Just straight to the exit, okay? For civilian rescuing. Okay, so you actually have to let them go. Notebook. Uh, mission. Find the other people in the store, get them out when it's safe, neutralize the threat. Wait. Neutralize the threat isn't checked off. Does that mean there's another guy? Uh oh. So, can you move your ass out of here now? Good. Sure thing. Straight to the exit. Okay, so they wait in the parking lot. Nice. Alright, let me check to see if there's like any evidence. Oh wait, there's a guy back here. Wait, where'd you come from? I see you're hurt. There's a first aid kit on the wall by the Use it and we'll talk. <sighs> uh. Looks like you're saving <laughs> my life. Thank you. You're welcome, Joe. I'm the store manager. Oh. I have information that the two or three people are responsible for this mess. Two of them are off the hook, and the third? The head of the whole party. He's locked himself in the warehouse. Who knows what he's looking for in there? How do I get As there? As you walk through the store, did you see those big double doors in the middle of the room? You can go through them. This one here also leads to the back room, but the key's gone. I don't have it, and I don't think Richard has it as well. Yes, Big ones. Yes. There you go. Just be careful, huh? The guy was... No, I I'm fine. I got punched in the face by the boss of this gang, but... I just don't know what they wanted. They came by, made a fuss. They didn't even touch the cash, so it's not about the money, is it? I died. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Are you sure you're all right? Really, I'm fine. Do you recognize the attackers? Have you seen them before? I know the boss. He's been in the shop a few times, but never made any problems. I heard him on the phone talking about some kind of pickup, 
Don't ask me what, because I have no idea, but the thing was supposed to be in our warehouse. We don't have anything there except... You ask me, I'll ask you. Uh, maybe? Thank you very much again. No way, this is... Oh god. Wait, can I actually go through this way? Okay, it's closed. Alright, so there is still one more guy then. And I'm not going to report that in, I guess. Wait, the double doors, right when you walked in. Oh, these two doors. <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, God. You're losing ground, Morgan. Your people are out of my hair. You want to talk to me like a human being? Then try to end this farce without bloodshed? <laughs> you make me laugh so hard, I'm going to listen to what you have to say. Oh, no. Finish negotiations. <laughs> uh, rest of you, the card. The witness reported that rumors were going around the city about robbing a supermarket for some time. Not a cent was taken out of the cash register. No, from the witness set the suspect in a phone call arranged for a quick buck. Lousy leader. Troy Mafia. Between the suspect and someone outside, the suspect appeared to be scared. But, like, how do we know which one's, like, not going to... I don't know. I guess it's, like, 50-50. It was rumored that the whole city knew about this from some time. It's interesting from whom, as only I knew everything about it. Really stupid plan to break up into a supermarket. Man, what are you talking about? Doesn't it surprise you that we didn't take a dime? Or that I came to this warehouse for a reason? I don't see you getting promoted to detective. I also know that you made an appointment with someone to pick up stuff in the back of the warehouse. Don't make me laugh with this speculation. Okay. Detroit Mafia. One of your guys, right before he started shooting me, was yelling about the Detroit mob. What? What did he yell? What are you talking about? I heard you called someone and you were scared shitless. Put the gun down. Tell me what you know. And we'll figure out how to get you out of this. Get out of what? You seriously don't know what you're talking about. Oh, God. Poorly chosen argu argument. Oh, no. Lousy leader. I know you wanted to play with, th with them for money. They were pissed, so the choice is simple. Either give me someone bigger than yourself or I'll take them and settle for you. You don't have any boundaries, do you? You kill without blinking an eye. You go in and talk. Perfectly chosen argument. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I don't have any other option. First you made me laugh, and now you... Oh, God. It. Third suspect killed. I wonder if I should have checked my notebook. Before going back here or anything. Get to the back room and find the crime evidence. Job done. Get back to the police car. Alright, let me report this in. Drugs. I found a couple of packages of some crap in this store's warehouse. White powder probably for sale. Forensic. We'll take them. Damn. We didn't uh, get him to, to talk. I wonder if you replay the mission now, though. It'll tell you, like, hey, this is a good option. This is a bad option. Which ones do you want to choose?
Get back to the police car. Oh god, I still have to worry about these guys. Wait, wait, wait. We'll talk. I okay. went through your file, and I know everything, Price. You're here looking for a brother who disappeared a while back, right? Look, I don't usually get involved in stuff like this, but focus on the job, huh? I'm giving you good advice, Price. Give it a rest. There are people working on it. You know that rule about a surgeon not cutting on himself? Yeah, seriously, let it go. When you're done here, get your ass to the police station. It sounds like he's the one. <laughs> he's the one that did it. Get back to the police car. Wait, do I still have to report these guys? What happened out there? I don't think anybody's going to... Lex, everything's under control, me, so huh? shall we clean up your mess, gentlemen? Don't worry about it anymore. Oh, okay. Lucky I got out of the store in time. Where are the other guys at? Can I ask them any more questions? Oh, this lady ran out. What did she have to say? Please, help me, please. My daughter was left in the store. I ran out as soon as we stopped. Calm down, I'll find your daughter. When was, the shots were fired, yes, did you see her again? She was with me. I started to run for the exit. I turned around. And... Wait, a missing child. It was Simon. The child was probably left in the store. Oh no. Is there anything else I can do to help you? I don't know where the child is. The child is somewhere in the market. Here. I have a I hope the child Oh, thank you. Whoa, I almost left. I almost left without <laughs> running here. Is that guy still here too? Yeah, he is. Is it over? Safe now. <sighs> Need to cool off first. Looks like he was about to make a call. I don't know about that guy. I really could have just walked right out of here without ever doing this. Restroom, here we go. Kid. Alone. Please leave me alone. Take it easy. Badge, I'm a police officer. Come on. At me. I ran away, but I was so scared. You're safe now. Your mother's waiting outside mom, the, the store. Ran away? Oh, that's good. Can I go to her now? Go see your mom. <sighs> uh, is there anybody in here? Nobody. Apparently, I don't have a reflection. All right. Okay. About back here. Closed. Okay. Wow, we would have completely missed that. <laughs> if I didn't even bother, we would have missed that. You saved me. I was afraid I wouldn't see my mom again. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I was so. Of course. Nice. Wait, can we actually see our mission? Uh, suspects arrested. Pull out the baton to stun the opponent. Uh, pull out the handcuffs to arrest your opponent. Wait, can we still? What's it say about them? Suspects killed three. Suspects run away. Civilians killed. Wow, we almost walked away without ever saving the child. Okay, get in, complete the mission. Sixty-six percent. What did I miss? Suspects killed. Unconventional. Uh, does it tell me like anything I missed? Keep going. And now for the news. <laughs> Robbery of local supermarket situation was contained by one police officer. As a PR spokesman for the local police told us, yesterday's situation at the supermarket was a result of, quote, they play these games, they watch Nolix, and everyone thinks they can be like Danny Ocean or another John Dillinger. I'm a media ban. I'm for a media ban, and I'll vote for it. Wait. 
<laughs> okay. Police officer, a hero to a mom and her daughter. Skill level one. Uh, to get, oh, okay. So you can get bonus points. I see. At first, you get a bonus for setting up a suspect. During negotiation, you get an extra point for a suspect's attitude. A chance to hide one wrong answer. Reduce noise when moving. At first, you get a bonus for setting up a suspect. Get extra point for the suspect's attitude. Let's do the, yeah, wrong answer thing. I right, keep going. Stalker at the motel, police headquarters, hostage, and okay. Well, interesting. So I believe there's three missions. Um, I'm actually going to leave this video with where it's at. Um, keep it a little bit short form and uh, maybe we'll do the next one and kind of see how episode two goes. So if you enjoyed the, this video, definitely leave a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one.